coffee time. It's day one of official practice. So, uh, yeah, that kind of worked out. <laughs> yeah, it this is your like B roll. This is where you put like the music. Yeah, too bad I like suck at making cool B roll and music in these videos. <laughs> but maybe that'll give me something to practice this summer. That was the only thing I was good at in YouTube videos. Okay. Um, really? <laughs> Dang, we need was, you then yeah. to do that part. And I'll just... That was the only part I was excited about when I did YouTube videos. Yeah. I need more cleaner in there. That looks pretty dark. But, uh, well guys, we can be on the water, technically heading out to go fishing in one minute. So we better put a hop to it because we got to go look for a shad spawn or something going on. It's that time of year. So we're going to be getting on the water soon. But this warm weather and longer days are starting to catch up. Dude, that's not even loud. They're starting to catch up with us, so. Coffee. We got off just in time. It is day two of official practice, and Riker and I are obviously out fishing. <laughs> 
but uh, I don't know, we're kind of trying a few different things around some areas that we've caught a few fish and kind of trying to hone into an area of the lake I probably want to stick in at least to start day one. So, poking around, we really had the most success fishing shallow and trying to look out deep outside of those areas to see if maybe, you know, if the fish were to pull out or things like that we might have somewhere to try to see if they did move or what have you. So we are really just kind of exploring today. Nothing a whole lot. We've been fishing some grass and stuff uh, this morning. Got a few bites maybe, but nothing too head turning yet today. Uh, it's, I feel like it's getting tougher and tougher. This place seems like it's going to fish pretty small, so we got to just hunker down in an area and try to outfish everyone, I think. But Riker doesn't sound like he's gone tomorrow. He's going to sleep in. Go anywhere to sleep on Wednesdays, man. Yeah. Yeah, I've done that. So, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm probably going to get out in the morning and try to find maybe somewhere to start. Uh, got some weather that rolled in yesterday that cut our day short. Um, and so we're going to give it a full day, get off at sunset, go grab some food somewhere because we're out of food to cook. Then Riker's going to get some more groceries on w tomorrow, Wednesday, while I head out on the water. And then we're going to make some dinner, might have Condog back. He might come make some steaks on Riker's Traeger with us. So, yeah, that's that. You guys aren't missing much. There's not a whole lot that's going on. So stay tuned. Well guys, just got off of the water for day two of official practice. Putting my rods up and to be dead honest, today kind of sucked. Kind of did some somewhat exploring on some parts of the lake we haven't really been to. And Not a huge fan, to be dead honest, like Sunday, kind of figured out something. Not like really figured out, but like it was at the point where we were kind of calling our shots. And I don't know, my theory of this all is kind of like figured out where some fish are located. And I don't think they're gonna move very far. Like the fish that I'm caught, that I have caught, I think the better ones, I should say, have been majority spawning or post spawn, and I just don't think they're gonna move around a whole lot. And I don't know if Ross Barnett's a huge deep lake, from what research I have done, and from the lay of it. You know, I, I really am someone who likes to force an out deep bite, finding brush piles. You know, creek channel swings, stuff like that, locating where fish might stage. And this lake's just a little different. Um, I haven't found a whole lot offshore. I've found some isolated stumps and, you know, some crappie looking brush piles. And I thought it might be something that I could, you know, figure out. But it hasn't been that way. So I've only been able to get a bit shallow. And I think the fish are pretty spawny. I think what's next is going to be like a shad spawn type thing, a uh, bluegill spawn. So I think these fish are going to stay shallow and the grass is getting more and more prevalent as you know you get farther along in the year. And I think there's a lot of residential shallow fish in this lake, I just really do. I think there are fish out deep at times for sure, don't get me wrong, but I just don't know if it's going to be the, this tournament if that's going to play as much. Um, so it might, I mean, you know, fish can push off with pressure but I think they're going to remain in those areas. The shad is shallow, all that kind of stuff and so I've got an area, a section of the lake. I might have one area I want to go hit right away in the morning on tournament day and I know this is still official practice. We've got some practice left but this is kind of where my head's at so far and I might go run, try to pluck a couple fish off this one stretch and then I'm going to literally get to an area put my trolling motor down and I might not pick it up for the entire tournament day. So with that being said, 
I don't mind it. I like to find an area of the lake to focus on so I'm not running around like a madman. I don't think this is a tournament where it's like finding brush piles and stuff like that. That'll be, you know, 10, 15 minutes on a spot. And uh, I'm just gonna fish through it the way I have confidence and then maybe cycle back through and fish it a different way if I have time at the end, during the day. So that's kind of that. That's where my head's at. Um, this lake, I think fish is small. I think there's a lot of dead water. Um, and I'm just gonna stay where I know some fish are swimming and see how it all shakes out. Sometimes things go really well that way and I don't know what to expect. So we're gonna go out there and try. It doesn't sound like Riker's going tomorrow. I might go out for the first few hours. We gotta be out by noon anyway. Try to find something else to start on maybe. But I think in my head I'm pretty made up. I haven't found anything that's changed my mind from that. And granted it was a few days ago, but I don't think the fish are changing a whole lot right now. So that's that. Day two. We're gonna go get Panda Express and get to bed. Cooler nights, so it's a little more comfy truck sleeping weather and that's that. Day two of practice is a wrap. Official practice. I've been here for like four days. So. Have you been on the elite? Official practice is a wrap. And uh, we got a special guest con dog for the rigging session with us. He's not a special guest, he's a regular. You guys know him. Hopefully, if you don't, you better. But anyway, we're gonna get some rods rigged and uh, go get registered today. Maybe grab some lunch somewhere and make some dinner and have a grand old time. And then get ready to go absolutely smash them on Ross Barnett Reservoir, hopefully. Well, 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 we are back to the moment before our tournament morning. We are registered. We have eaten lunch. We are rigged. And we are ready to go at it on the Ross Barnett Reservoir to kick off the Central Division. Um, got the boat in tow. They're doing like an invasive species check over. I guess there's a new aquatic vegetation that is of concern here on the Ross Barnett Reservoir. So they just kind of quickly looked over everyone's boats just to double check and we got registered and now we're heading back to camp. So we got rigged before everything before we grab some lunch and Riker's gonna go grab some steaks tonight to grill on his Traeger grill and we're gonna have some time, just some downtime to chill out at camp and get some other work done. I'm gonna upload all this footage, maybe even start editing the video. Uh, I don't know how much it'll be. I didn't get a whole lot of fishing filmed during official practice, so I apologize for the lack of that, but there really wasn't much during official practice. Riker and I kind of bounced around the lake, fished some different areas that we didn't, that I hadn't been to. Uh, really like that Sunday, on, on Sunday, we found the most of what I'm probably gonna be doing in the tournament, to be dead honest. Uh, I've got a few little creeks that got some docks, some um, seawalls and stuff like that. I think the fish are really spawning post-spawn and I think they're just gonna be sticking shallow, I'm hoping, but I think there's gonna be a lot of pressure. I think this lake fish, small, fish is small, and I'm just gonna have to stay mentally strong, and if we gotta fish behind people, try to feel confident in what we're doing, and if we aren't seeing the results throughout the day, as the day goes, then we gotta adjust. So, gonna be an open mind, but that's the hard thing about these opens, they're, you know, there's 200 plus boats in them and you never know what kind of rotation you're going to get on so it can be kind of difficult it can be frustrating but you got to stay in it mentally and just go try to outfish everyone if you are around other people so that's our plan we're going to see how day one goes see if we can adjust if we need to and just kind of hoping one of these deals goes is 
you think it's gonna have gone into it, but that never seems to be the case. So staying open-minded is key, and we're gonna go have some fun. It's a blast to fish these things, fishing at the highest level we can right now uh, without qualifying for the next. So gotta love the game, gotta love the process. We're going after it. So stay tuned for day one. We'll see it bright and early on the water. Maybe I'll show you a couple quick clips of us cooking at camp, but otherwise we'll just see you in the morning, guys. We got some work to do. Rest up and get to get after it. So tight lines. <laughs>